Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to Cars with Ben and welcome back to another GTA Online video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the Pegasi Torreira review. And this car's been out for a few weeks now, about a month maybe. But uh, I just won it in the casino, so I thought I'd do a nice little review to show you guys if it's worth buying and if you uh, what you think, what I think of it. So this is based off a Lamborghini of some sorts, I forget the name. And it's a very interesting vehicle, it's got a lot to it, so if you're new here uh, and you like reviews, give it a like, subscribe, and let's jump straight into it. Alright, starting with the normal thing that I do, opening all doors. So, as you can see, only the doors open, but in a really cool way actually. So there's four doors on this car, but it makes it look like two. And again, that's already a very good bonus point for me, very awesome uh, part of the vehicle. No engine at bonnets or anything like that, so can't see that unfortunately. So this vehicle actually retails for, sorry, it's at, I believe it's on Warstock, but I didn't know where it was. So give me a minute to find it, and there we go. Okay, so this vehicle retails for 3.6 million, which is very expensive. Luckily I won it in the casino when it was there. Unfortunately it's not there anymore. But I thought, hey, why not just do a quick review on it? So... I actually been using it quite a bit and to be honest it's starting to become my main vehicle of choice and there's a few reasons for that. This vehicle is completely submersible, it is, it's got rockets on it, it's got machine guns, it's kind of like all round a pretty good vehicle so really enjoying it actually at the moment. Um, as you can see I really love the interior, the sort of classic sports, classic uh, way it's done, the white interior with Pegasi at the back, looks so nice and clean. Um, and one thing that's great about this is it's actually got a boost on it so you can boost no matter what you're doing so at least three or four things that this vehicle is actually useful for and its speed is very handy so it's in stock form at the moment I haven't used it really at all or customized it so it's pretty much as it is and here you can see the submersibleness of it a bit like the submarine it's very handy if you accidentally go in water uh, even if you do drive into water, it will still last for ages, which is great. It won't, you know, won't have to pay for it. Obviously, the only problem being is that Rockstar have made the water, annoyingly, very dark. I cannot see anything, so there you have it. Not the best. I wouldn't recommend generally using it. But if you need to, it is cool. It's a cool little feature. I've always wanted to do that. So It's kind of like a James Bond vehicle, but without the Bond car. So... There you have it there, sort of a bit of submersible for you. I think that adds to its nice features though and probably why it's so expensive. Probably adds another million onto it. And yeah, that's pretty much how it works. It's very easy to come in and out of, much like the another vehicle that we had which was a submersible car a while back. So I, what, what I really like about this is it just works in both settings. You know, you could customise it, you could go underwater. It's a very mission vehicle and because, because it's got four seats, guys, you can take it in missions, which is very handy. That guy's cutting me off there. But the boost as well, another really handy part about this car. To be honest, it's almost a perfect all-rounder, I would say. If you are looking to buy one of these, I would definitely recommend it. However, I definitely wouldn't recommend the price side of things. It's just too expensive. And having got the flying car as well, I'd rather have that, just because it's so much easier to go around flying than it is to go underwater which I think has got to be something to consider. But if you have unlimited money, definitely pick this car up. It is a very awesome vehicle for GTA Online. It's a shame that it's only been added really because, you know, it's near the end of its life and this car has a lot of potential. I think it's great for heist, which is what it's just come out in. So let's move on to its customization. Um, to be honest, I thought there was going to be a lot for this car, but there really isn't. However, it's not the end of the world. Uh, it doesn't really have to be a lot because of the vehicle, but I thought it'd be a nice to be a little bit more. Um, it's very basic, but let's let's show you that now. Better than new. And jumping in, we can see start with bumpers, of course. A um, few bumper options are there. There's quite a few, mostly colours and changes in the shape slightly. Um, going into the rear bumpers. Pretty much the same thing as you can see. I really like the white, uh, but that's you know not much to really go off there. And 
main thing sort of livery so those, those are always the key things this is the st arrow stripes uh, they came with the vehicle i had in the casino uh, but there's also one free livery which is worth picking up it which is the shark camo which is quite cool i like that although i'm not sure it goes with the car itself it's very uh, it's more of a sports car than a military vehicle so for me i'm not gonna put that on but always livery is the most important on the cars nowadays so I'll stay with the arrow stripes. Louvers, I didn't know what that was until I looked at the back. It's just that sort of gr f grin, of sort of fish grill on the back. Um, so we'll make that white, sort of go with the, the theme. I'm probably not going to do too much with this, guys, but I'm going to try and keep it clean and simple. But really, that's, that's really it. There's nothing too special. You can get sun strips, but I'm going to leave it off because I feel like you need that when you're underwater. You need to see as much as possible. But really, I like the car as it is. I think the only thing we should really change is wheels. Get a few spoilers on there. That's They look all right, which isn't too bad. Again, a lot of selections, but just colors, really, in sort of different shades. So wheels, I'm thinking... I'm thinking low rider, but we'll just have a look at sports. Again, sports does not fit these, these car, I don't think, so we'll go for sort of a low rider class. We need a classic look, but they need to put that in classics separately. What's great about this is I think it pretty much suits any low rider vehicle wheels, so that's great. We'll change the colour of those. And anyway, yeah, guys, if you want to pick this up again, it's 3.6 million. It is very expensive, so I definitely wouldn't recommend its price. But that's going to be the only downside to this car, really. I think other than that, this vehicle just really is very good. It, unlike the slam truck, which I reviewed yesterday, this vehicle, having won it completely for free, obviously is awesome for me. And if you have as well, let me know in the comments. Uh, but yeah, that is pretty much the customization of this vehicle. Um, I wanted to see if there's anything new, unlike the slam truck, there isn't really a lot. It sells for about 12,000, but only because I've bought it for that much. I always think it's important to see how much it sells for. But yeah, that has been my review of the Pegasi Terrader. I think performance wise, excellent. Uh, the boosts really help it. Handling, it can be a 5 out of 10, it's not the best, but it's certainly not the worst. But it is a sports classic, so it's kind of what you'd expect. And just everyday usability, a good 8 to 9 out of 10. It's got four doors and um, it can be used in missions. Obviously, you've got that open space in the windows and doors, so that is a bit of an issue, so probably armour it up. But other than that, that is my review of this Pegasi Torita. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, consider leaving a like, rating, and subscribe to Cars with Ben, where I make weekly content on cars related to car vlogs or games, anything to do with that. And I will see you in the next video.